everybody. Hello and welcome. This is Yoga Scout. Let's get our incense going if you haven't yet. This is, I've been burning incense all day. I mean, I burn maybe three times a day. But like for this class, it's specifically like nice to have it. I love it. Best Christmas gift. For anyone, incense, give them like so cheap, right? Stuff and stuff. Right? It's like, I already keep your mind on that. So we're going to go ahead and get started on the floor. You can also sit on a chair. I spent a, a few moments here just to ground yourselves in the present moment. So roll your shoulders back. All right, close your eyes if you wish. Take a nice deep breath in. Inhale all the way down to the belly. And then as you exhale, exhale any stress of your day, whatever may be bothering you, whatever emotion, stress, anxiety. And then as you inhale, inhaling some peace and calm, getting yourself grounded in the present moment, and exhaling it out, whatever no longer serves you. And let's do that one more time. Deep breath in. And now as you breathe out, just bring that right ear to the right shoulder. Feeling that nice stretch on the left side of your neck. Keeping that right shoulder nice and relaxed. And switch. Let's do the other side. We're gonna switch one more time. Right knee to the right shoulder. This time, bring the left fingertips to the floor. So deepening that stretch. And bring the hands back to your thighs and switch sides. Bring the right fingertips to the floor. Bring the hand back to your thighs. So go ahead and place one foot forward, the other one back. So let's say you have your left foot in, right foot out. You're gonna inhale, lift both arms up. And then exhale, walk with your fingertips forward and then to the left. So you can do the sitting on a chair, just crossing that right leg over the left for a seated pigeon. So this would look like this. If you're sitting on your chair, you just cross and come on forward. And let's walk back to the center and then walk in. We'll switch legs. Now place the left foot forward, the right one in. Inhale, raise both arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring the fingers forward, and then let's walk towards the right, feeling that stretch in the left glute. And back to the center, let's walk with the hands in. We're gonna turn into all fours. If you're welcome to stay seated with your legs crossed on the floor or on a chair. We're going to do the cat and cow. You can do the seated cat and cow as well. Bring your hands underneath the shoulders and your knees underneath the hip. Release your toes in the back, inhale. Drop the belly until your bone goes up. Then as you exhale, draw that navel to the spine. Bring the chin to the chest. Keep going here on the floor. We'll show you how we do the seated. So inhale, chest forward. And then exhale, draw the navel to the spine. I do want to use the chair here to further and deepen that stretch. So I hold it at the edge and I hold it on the back to bring and open up that chest and shoulders. So right here it feels really good. So you can do your cat and cow seated this way. And I'm back to neutral position here. We're going to start to make some nice big circles. And again, this works the same way seating. We're just shifting the weight of our body. 
from the upper body right, left, and then the lower body left, right. And it can make this as big as a small. Make it nice and fluid and just feeling how your body and all the sensations here. And we're gonna switch directions. It can be a small movement, like you're feeling really nice and you wanna just explore. Just do a little bit more. And stop at the center. We're gonna walk with our hands forward here. And then sit all the way back into child's pose. Press the palm of your hand for that nice stretch. You can have your hands on a chair. You can have your hands on the wall. We're gonna come up into a downward dog. So just tuck your toes on underneath and just press them on the heel down at a time. Stay here. I'm sure you're on the chair. We're just having the heel of the chair. You want to make sure your chair is against the wall. You can do something like this so that it doesn't really move. And you can have your hands right here and just, just doing the same thing. Just instead of your hand on the floor, you have your hand on the chair. You can also have your hand on the wall up here. So there's all this modification. So keep coming, keep modifying. And let's just walk all the way towards our hands. You can keep your feet hip width apart. Just relax your head, keep your fingertips down, cup cut canes. We're gonna not to have really release any pressure you may have on your neck. And then shake your head like some nose. And this nose can be some boundaries, right? We all need those and stop right here at the center. Go ahead and hug your elbow and just let gravity pull you down, feeling a nice stretch on the back side of your body. Feel that stretch in your glutes and your hamstrings, upper back, just breathe. And release your arms, gonna go halfway up, half left here, back flat. And then exhale, coming all the way down. Now bend your knees, we're gonna roll it up nice and slow. Take your time, even if you wanna help the palms of your hands here to finish the movement, we'll come up. So interlace the fingers. You're gonna point to those index fingers up towards the right, and then to the left for a side bend. So it's gonna be moving here like a, a little pendulum. And back to the center. Step back with your right foot. Keep your left foot forward to a warrior two. Nice and soft gaze. Shoulders are relaxed. Just breathe. So for this first exercise here, or pose, if you may, we're going to be coming down and touching the inner part of your foot. And just tapping on the floor next to it. And then we'll come back up into that warrior two. If that doesn't work for you, you can just stay here and just going deep and coming up if you can't come all the way down. All right, otherwise we're gonna reach down for one, two, we're doing eight, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. All right, so if you're gonna stay stand, I'd like to stand, just step forward and step next to the other fit, uh, foot, otherwise come into cartwheel hands. And I'll show you why. So you can stay here on the floor on a high plank. We're going to do side taps here as if you're doing a jumping jack. And here you're going to do the same thing. You're just gonna tap right here. Just tap out to the sides as you do a, sh a side shoulder raise. All right, so let's do it for eight. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and eight. Go ahead and move into a downward dog and just walk all the way towards your hands. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, comes to the heart. We'll step back and then turn to the other side. So we all should be here in the same position. Hold. Gazing at your fingertips. Shoulders are down and relaxed. And remember, you can stay up here. Or we'll come on down with that back hand and touch that front foot. Let's do it. Now, up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. One more. more. And eight. Step forward with your back foot. Of course, your hands come to the floor. Step back. We're going to do that side tap, standing on the floor for eight. Ten tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, if you're standing up, go to the wall. We're going to do tricep push up or chaturanga. You can do it on your knees, on your toes. We'll come all the way down there. Come all the way down. And we're going to do three cobra push-ups. Doing your push-ups on the wall. Check your toes on the back. Down with dog. All right, just hold it on the dog. And I'll show you if you're doing this on the wall. We're going to do this again. You're doing your push-ups right here. And then you step back. You're doing your downward dog with your hands on the wall. So it's exactly the same thing. Just step on the floor, you do the wall. And shift into a high plank. Come on down on your knees. Now let's come down to do those three push-ups again. One, two, and three. Downward dog. Now bend both knees, look forward, inhale. Exhale, press both heels down. Inhale, lift, gaze forward. Exhale, down. One more time, in. Now we're going to lift that right leg up for a three leg dog. As you inhale, as you exhale, bring the knee towards the left elbow. So you're standing, you're doing the same thing. You bring your right knee to the left elbow. We're going to do this again. Inhale, lift. Now this time we're gonna go to the same side. Bring it to the right side. Inhale, lift. I'm gonna bring it straight forward. In the forehead and nose. And I'm gonna go up into the downward dog once again. Now we're going to switch left side. Inhale, lift the left leg up. And then exhale, cross. Left knee to the right tricep, so right elbow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring the left knee towards the left triceps. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step that knee towards the nose or forehead. We'll step back in the downward dog. We're gonna just walk all the way towards the front of your mat. Inhale, bring both arms up, back bend, and thumbs to the heart. Now we need our dumbbells. We'll be doing some chair pose next. So I'll say pick up light, you know, this uh, this whole class is about lightweight. So we are going to bring two dumbbells like this, press them against each other. We're going to get our feet close together, weight on the heels, and we're going to hold it here for four, and then we're going to step back, and we're going to press, all right? So here we go. Ready? And hold. One, two, three. Four, step back, press it up. Here we go. One, we're doing four. Two, three, one, one more. And four, step forward, hold. One, two, three, four. Step back with your other foot and press. One, two, three, and four. Bring it close and hold. One, Two, three, four. Step back and press. One. Neutral position here. Two. 
three, four, dumbbells together, hold, one, two, three, four, step back and press, one, two, three, okay, one more, and four, we're going to step forward, bring those dumbbells down, chin them back, we're going to step back, you can stay standing, we're going to do some rowing on a plank, you can stay right here, just step back with your right foot and then your left foot, you can be on a high plank, or you can have one knee down, just bring one dumbbell in, we're going to row for eight, and here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to turn it to a side plank, and we're going to bring the elbow to the knee. You can do elbow to knee standing, or even sitting on a chair. One, two, we're doing eight, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Switch sides. Let's row for eight. Now, right knee down, dumbbell that left hand. Let's row. If you're doing standing, you can do both at the same time. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Dumbbell down, turn. And here you go. Now, what you need? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Come back to the center. Place the dumbbell right in the front. We're gonna come up to a downward dog. And just walk all the way towards your hands. You can tuck in your hands underneath your feet and just try to lift that upper body. Just feel a nice little stretch here. Breathe. And I'll go ahead and release the hands. Kind of inhale halfway up. And then exhale. Pick up your dumbbells. We'll come out with the dumbbells. You, if your dumbbells are too heavy, you can just use one if they are light. I have six pounds. I'm going to go ahead and use two. So we're going to come into a warrior three. This is a warrior three. We're going to keep the hands down here. And then as we'll come up, Lift the knee up, press, and as you're doing triceps extension, you're going to extend the knee. All right, so let's do this together. Here you go. So on that right foot balance, warrior three, hips square. Slowly engage in the core, find your balance. Lift the leg, press, and we're going to do triceps extension for three right here. One, you can have your foot down also two, or you can sit right here, and then three, okay? So this is like a modification. We'll switch sides on the left leg, warrior three, hip square. Lost my balance. Engage the core. Lift it up and press. Triceps extension for three, one. Two, one more, and three. We're gonna switch sides. Before we do that, let's just release the pressure in the ankle here. Take your time, take your time. Hold, press, the bells together, extension, here you go. One, two, all right, one more. And three. And let's do the other side. Warrior three. Engage the core. Press through extensions. One, two, and three. Okay, you can leave the dumbbell out to the sides. We really need that later. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is standing split with the Shiba squat. So if you do have a block and you want to use that, you can. Uh, also can have your hand somewhere that is even higher, like the chair. Here's a Shiba squat. So you're standing on one leg. So you, it's a standing split. 
So you just tap right here. While you're gonna tap eight each side. Now if you can't do that, you can sit on the chair and again, you can go back to that leg extension right here. All right? So let's do that. So you can have your hand on that block, left one leg up, I'm keeping my left foot down, my leg up. Bring that knee to the opposite calf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right, one more. And eight, go ahead and step back for you to hold. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. We pick up the dumbbell, turn to the other side. We're gonna do the same thing. Lift, shoot a squat, ready? And go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, just step back, hold for eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're gonna turn to the front. We're gonna do some sumo, so now we do need the dumbbell. Let's pick up the dumbbell. We're gonna do up and down for eight, but these are sumo squats with an upright row. Now, if you can do the leg, you can just do the upright row for eight. Ready? And go. Here you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, one more. And eight. Now, go ahead and shift. Bring the dumbbell up. All right, I'm gonna keep going the leg, but this time I'm gonna do this star. I'm gonna press it up. Palm the hips facing forward. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Upright row. Go for eight more. One. Two, three, four, shoulders are burning. Five, six, seven, all right, one more. And let's flip it up and press. Go one, two, three, oh, four, four one more. Five, six, seven, another one. And eight, just bring the dumbbells down in front of you. Palms of the hands together. And sink into that sumo side to side. Lifting the toes. You can stay just up here. Lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Shuffle your feet a little bit closer. Pick up your dumbbells. So this is a called deadlift, where we're gonna come down for the deadlift, and we're gonna come up for a tree pose. We'll come down for a deadlift, coming up for a tree pose, all right? So now, if you do have enough balance, you'll come and do your curl as you come up, or you can just keep the hands down. Ready? Shoulders back, and go. Here we go, one deadlift, one tree. This is three. Four. One more. You give me a baby tree right here. Five. Six. Seven and eight. Toes out, put the dumbbells out to the side. 
Body in front, palms of the hands together, sink in, side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Shuffle your feet in if you want. You can just pop in, pick it up. Ready? Here we go. Tree pose. If you find a balance right here. <laughs> Oh, I forgot the deadlift. Sorry about that. Deadlift. Tree pose. Four more. All right, last one. All right, so we go ahead and bring the dumbbells out to the side. Gonna inhale, lift both arms up, and then exhale, forward fold. Gonna step into a downward dog. So as we are in a downward dog, we're going to move from a plank to a downward dog with an ankle touch, or whatever you can reach, okay? So ready? And go, so touch. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more. And a shift into the downward dog. Lift that right leg up. Inhale as you're actually stepping the right side of your mat. So you're gonna bring that left knee down, raise both arms up. Inhale and then exhale, extend the front knee, bring your chest down. Inhale, reach. Ah, oh, this was so good. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Now go ahead and bring your hands to the inside part of your foot. Step back with that right foot. So then you're on a plank pose. You're going to shift into that down dog. Ankle touch for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more. And Eight. All right, shift into the downward dog. Inhale, lift that left leg up. Exhale, step towards the left side of your mat. Bring your knees down. Raise both arms up, release the toes in the back. Reach. Inhale. Exhale, extend that front knee, chest down. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Extend that front knee. One more. Inhale, reach. Uh, bring both hands and legs up part of your feet. Swing that leg back, sit back on child's pose. If you're sitting in a chair, just hug behind the knee. If you want to bring your arms back. Just grounding yourself a little bit here before you keep moving. Bring both arms forward. Go back into that downward dog. Check your toes on the back and just walk towards your hands. Gonna roll it up nice and easy here. Bring both arms up, palms of the hands together, thumbs to the heart. We will need our block again. So now for this one, you can do just standing with your hand on the wall. You're gonna lift that leg up. We're going to make some nice little circles here. Forward and then back. Uh, if you're doing this standing more advanced pose, you have your toes pointing towards the block. I like keeping my block a little further, not on the center, but like off center here. And then turn the hip up towards the ceiling. Toes are pointing forward, arm up. We're gonna make our circles here and go. You go one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, and eight, and reverse. You go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We'll come up and bring that block all the way to the other side. If you're on the wall, just turn them around. And again, it's not right in the front for a little bit. Better balance is a little off center. Open up the shoulder, open up the hip here. You can have the arm up. Circle, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We'll come up. We'll pick up our dumbbells. Keep the block out of the way. All right, so you're gonna have your right foot forward, the left foot back. Bring both arms up. So this is what they call the shoulder flies right here. All right, so you're just gonna bring the, the uh, elbows in and elbows out. Ready? And go, in and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now you're welcome to bring your knee all the way down and just stay up here. You can just stand up. This is too much. We're gonna do hammer curls. All right, so we're gonna come down here. The knees are down, but as you curl, you're gonna lift your knee a little bit up. You're lifting through that front heel. Ready? And go, toes are tucked in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more. Go all the way up, eight. We'll switch, left foot forward, right foot back, elbows up, ready for shoulder flights. And here we go, and go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more, and eight. Bring that knee all the way down, nice and slow. Just a half lunge with the curl, or stay up and curl. And go, one, two, control, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more. All right, step up, shake those legs. That was a burner. All right, keep the dumbbells in your hand if you're not, if you're not done with those. We're going to do some arm circles, so we're going to do four in, we're going to do four out. Now here's a challenge for, as we do this, we're going to cross the leg on a flamingo squat, and we're just going to hold that squat. So that's like a figure of four, you just sit into it. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four. Reverse. One, two, three, and four. Come on up. Release the pressure on the ankle. And I should the other side. See how the balance goes on this side. All right, sit as low as you can and go. One, two, three, four, reverse. One, two, three, four. Look up and release. All right. Okay, for our next one, we only need one dumbbell. We're going to come all the way down to that garland squat, which is toes are out. Heels are on the mat, toes are outside the mat, toes are diagonal. I think the sun is right here. Alright, so you're going to come all the way down. Uh, you can do the seating. Let me just show what you're going to do here first. So this is the garland squat hold. We're going to do it for eight, and we're going to sit down, and we're going to do it for eight right here. Alright, so if you can't do that, you're just going to seat it on your chair. All right, so you're sitting on your chair, 
and you're gonna do it right here when we do the figure of eight. So you can do some extra, just go ahead instead of we'll be doing eight, you just do 16, so you do a little bit more. All right, so here we go, get ready. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We'll come on down to our bottoms here and switch to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Come down to the side, come on up. And let's do it again. That is very, uh, uh, how do you say? I forgot that word. Graceful? Not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. To we'll sit back. And let's do it again. You go one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We'll stay down on the floor. You can either order them back. You can stay seated in your chair. All right. So we're gonna come back. We're gonna bring the dumbbells up, and we're gonna hold them out. Just like you're holding the chest right, you're just gonna hold it in here, and you're gonna do your bicycle crunches. All right. So here we go. That's too much for you. Just pull your arms up. That's fine. We're going to need the extra. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Whew. If you are on the floor, lay down your back. We're going to do chest flies. All right. If you are sitting on a chair, you're going to stand up. Uh, you can stay still seated. You're going to do the scoop. Like this is the scoop. Here's the standing. All right, so we are working the same muscles. Ready? All right, there we go. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, all right, one more. And eight, just go ahead and sit up. We're gonna do it again. Just can rest a little bit. Pull the elbows out. The arms out. Bicycle crunch, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it in, lay down, and you go. Flies, go one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more, and eight. Go ahead and sit up, bring the dumbbells out to the sides. We're going to move into all fours for the bird and dog. So bird dog. We raise the right leg, left arms. So we're going to bring the elbow to the knee. So you are here on your chair. You're doing the same thing. All right. Standing. Now, you want more than this. You can also stay on a plank. There's like four levels for you. All right, depending on how you feel. So let's do it. I'm going to do three times inside. Repeat it twice. We go raise. Inhale, exhale, crunch. One more. And switch, other side, raise. Switch sides. Inhale, exhale. Sides. Last one right here. One more. And sit back in child's pose. 
or is he going to chair hug behind her knee? So now if you're on a chair, I'd like you to do the back of your shoulder stretch. If you're on the floor, you're going to do thread the needle. We're going to breathe three times first. So inhale, lift. Exhale, thread the needle, but not all the way through to the floor. Just reach, feel a nice stretch in the back. Inhale, reach. Exhale. One more. This time, as you exhale, go ahead and grasp the back of the shoulder and here on the mat. So you can just stay here with your hands helping you for support. You can bring the arm up or you can bring it behind and tuck it in. For those who want a little bit more, you can bring that leg out to the side. Kind of hook your toes. And breathe. And then he slowly he's bring the hand down. Brush to the palm of your hand. Slide the arm out, bring the leg in. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, lift. Exhale. One more. This time we're gonna rest. As you exhale, back of the shoulder and ear onto the mat. And again, here you can just extend the elbow. Or extend the knee, tuck the big toe, and tucking that hand behind on your head. You can even just hold on to the shirt. Slide the arm out and bring the leg in. Uh, you can do a chest stretch on the wall or the puppy pose. So if you do this on the wall, you can just bring the elbows and return. Usually it's good when you have a little corner like this, so you can do a little bit more. Yeah. If you're on a wall, go ahead and switch sides. And go ahead and bring the elbow in, palm to the hands, thumbs to the base of the mat. And slowly release. Bring the palm of the hand in. I'm going to go ahead and just sit on your mat. You can bring that front part of your shin to the front of the mat. And I'm going to just reach. 
Now, you know, if, uh, if you're not able to do this on the floor, you can do this sitting on a chair, just as we did in the beginning of the class. You can do a full pigeon, you know, if you want to do a little bit more. And sometimes, it depends how you're feeling, you bring that heel in. There's nothing wrong with that, just whatever it feels right for you. And if it feels comfortable enough, you can just come all the way down. Almost come up. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So now if you don't have a block, we'll be lifting up, going up on a, on a bridge. And we're gonna slide that block and just bring the block to that flat part of your back, okay? So that the middle part of your booty is hanging over the block. All right, if you don't have that, so we are really working on our lower back here. So just being on the bridge up for a few moments and then just come on down, bring your knees to the chest, all right? To make sure that the block is on the lowest setting and for the arms if you like you can have your arms on baby arms breathe So if you don't have a yoga block, if you're going to get one, it's like 10 bucks. Sometimes you can get it at Ross or Marshall's for like five bucks. Slowly lift the hip up. Go ahead and remove the block and come down one vertebra at a time. And it's going to rest your knees against each other so your feet are out, so your feet are nice and wide, wider than your hip. And then the knees are close together, resting on each other. You can keep your arms on like a T position or just a 45 degree angle with your body. Breathe. Shuffle your feet closer. And I'm going to do the initial right. We're slowly moving the knees to one side and then to the other. And you should feel like all the tightness from sitting all day, from the driving, and sitting at your desk. It's really good knees. So we got to work out, but it's also good to feel this nice little stretch at the end. And let's come back to the center, bring both knees up towards the chest, rock side to side. And let's make some nice little circles. And then opposite direction. Back to the center of the 
uh, we're going to bring the baby. You have a baby pose. You can hold on to your pants. If you can, bring it, your feet. Uh, so you can hold at the edges of your feet and then bring the knees towards your armpit. So be great. That does a lot. A lot of problems. Do what you can. Let's do that nice. Opening up the hip. Breathe. And spread and breathe one of you and extend the other one out. And next to the other side. And let's go ahead and switch it again. So go ahead and rock yourself to a seated position. And you're gonna go ahead and cross your legs in front of you here. You're gonna roll the shoulders back. And allow your shoulders to rest. Finish it up with three deep breaths. So inhale, bring both arms up. And then exhale towards the side. And we have two more in. And out. And last one. Deep breath in. As you exhale, palms of the hands together. Bring your thumbs to the heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me here. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you next time.